in Fall River, Massachusetts, on the date of August 11th, 1892. There was a terrible, awful, grisly double murder that took place in the Borden home. You see, Mrs. Borden was last seen alive around 9 a.m. And the last people who had seen her alive were her stepdaughter, Lizzie Borden, and the housemaid, Bridget. As for other people that were staying in the home, there was Emma Borden, who was Lizzie's sister. She just so happened to be out on a trip during the time that this had happened. Mr. Borden and Uncle John, they were out by the Fall River. When initially questioned by authorities, Lizzie had stated that she was downstairs ironing handkerchiefs. Personally, I'm not sure I buy it. As for the room that Mrs. Borden was found in, it just so happened to be the same room that Uncle John had just slept in the night before. To some, this is a point of major curiosity because it is the most, the most requested by guests for overnight stays. It is known by some as the John Morse room and by others, the murder room. Now, initially when the crime scene was looked at, it left a lot to be desired. In fact, there were zero signs of a struggle and no defensive wounds on the body. Now whether, now you see, whether or not there was any signs of her facing her attacker, sorry, <laughs> whether or not there were any signs of her facing her attacker or standing up or kneeling was completely unknown. Now you see, it's not known whether or not she didn't fight back or couldn't, but what is known are the wounds that were placed upon her by her attacker. It was one blow that struck her on the left side of her head, just above her ear. Another, well this one, this one is pretty awful. This one went just between her shoulder blades and it was four inches deep. Ouch. Now the remaining 17 blows were to the back of her head and neck for an overall total of 19 that brought Mrs. Borden to her untimely demise. When she was initially found, she was seen in a pool of her coagulated blood. Now when looking at this blood and the stomach contents between her and Mr. and Miss and Mr. Borden, sorry, and Mr. Borden, you see, the time of death for Mrs. Borden was placed around about 9.30 a.m. and this was about an hour and a half prior to Mr. Borden's murder. The crime scene photos that were taken here actually happened to be the very first that were taken in the United States. And these very crime photos and the camera that took them can be seen in the dining room, which also happens to be where the autopsy had taken place. All right. Take care.